Now watch this. Brother Anthony obviously found great treasure. And hey, just like this gemstone there, we're also supposed to be living gemstones in the hand of the Lord and the royal diadem, as it says in Isaiah 62, 3. So join me and Brother Ivan as we talk about it. As far as you know, um, how do you manufacture gemstones? Well, <laughs> I don't know how you manufacture uh, gemstones, but uh, I think what he was getting at was, uh, you know, of course gemstones are precious stones, you know, and, uh, you know, look at it, looking at this spiritually, spiritual eyes, is. Uh, is making uh, these precious stones, these, these precious jewels for the Lord, which is, uh, uh, you know, people that will go out and do the works of the Lord, you know, uh, and because those are precious to Him, you know. So, uh, I guess creating disciples, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. creating That's disciples. That's right. True disciples. I think this is a nice way to put it, making <coughs> true disciples. Uh, if we look at Jesus, uh, of course, Judas fell away, so we can't really count him in as, mm -hmm. a, as a true disciple. Um, but the others also, they fell away, but nevertheless they came back. Those 11 that uh, were selected and followed Jesus, although they had their valley time at the crucifixion and so forth, later each and every one of them uh, could truly be seen as a, as a living gemstone. So Jesus must have done something that is so important for us that we uh, are to copy what he did. And since he lives inside of us, it's easy for us, or it should be easy for us, to do likewise. So mm -hmm. um, how did you become a gemstone? So the idea is not how do you manufacture one, but how did you become one? What, what happened? By following God's word, you know, uh, you uh, you start learning about the Lord. Uh, you start learning His art and what what He loves, the things that He hates, and, and you know, you start mimicking the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, you start doing the things that He He, he loves because you love the Lord. You know what He uh, that He paid a price for 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 you and the love that He has for you. So you you, you uh, out of that love. You start changing your ways, and and uh, you become a, a a jewel to him because mm. he, that's what he wants. He wants our, our hearts to um, um, to be turned to his ways. Now that sounds easy, <clears throat> but if we check it against reality, we can see that so many mm -hmm. people that make a decision for Jesus uh, and turn from sin and walk with Jesus as his mm -hmm. disciples, only do so for a while. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. they kind of slip back. <laughs> and this, of course, also happened to you personally. Yes, absolutely, it happened to me. I was, uh, I was walking with the Lord and <clears throat> I, uh, I had this, uh, you know, urge to, uh, you know, to go back. Like, uh, this, you know, I saw my friends and I wanted to go back doing the things that they, they, they were doing. And even though in the back of my head, I, I said, no, this, I shouldn't do that, you know? Mm -hmm. So the world has a lot of influence in that if you're not grounded, and I wasn't grounded. I, I mean, I started reading the word, but then at a certain point, I stopped reading the word and I stopped going to church. I stopped, uh, you know, um, having close relationship with, with uh, godly people and you know uh, it's just the communication with the Lord stop and then uh, you know uh, the world got a hold of me I would say you know and uh, and little by little I just uh, I just got involved a little more and more and more mm -hmm. 
until you, uh, I, I started convincing myself, oh, this is, uh, I'm not doing nothing wrong, you know, there's worse people that do these things. And, and I started comparing myself to other bad people, <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, thinking that, that somehow I was, I was better, you know, but, uh, you know, uh, thanks be to God that, uh, that I, I woke up and I said, no, this is not the lifestyle I want for my kids. Uh, right, so, I mean, but for a pretty long time mm -hmm. you deceived yourself thinking that you were still that shiny gemstone, uh, which in fact you were not. But then later, uh, as you realized that, uh, you know, this wasn't really the truth, mm -hmm. what was it then that helped you? I mean, not just the moment, but, I mean, you know, the process, so, I guess. Um, that, that really helped you in being manufactured into this gemstone? Well, um, first of all, you know, it's, it's the word. The word is what brings conviction. But, mm -hmm. but also, uh, like, seeking uh, people that love God. You know, they start encouraging you, start, uh, uh, you know, uh, teaching you. And the, the word says it, do not forsake the... the the uh, gathering of the congregation, you know, why? Because it's the body of Christ coming together and mm -hmm. and um, you know and uh, studying His Word and, and and you learn from their experience and you know vice versa. So um, I think that's that's one thing that um, mm -hmm. drew me closer to God. You know, is is uh, is uh, having this relationship with other belie true mm -hmm. believers. Mm -hmm. You know, not those, not just those that said, "Oh, uh, I believe in God," but truly those that do the mm. works of the Lord, not just speak. Mm. You know, but uh, so then you you uh, immersed yourself in the Word, which is of course uh, crucial. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you associated with. Uh, people that were no marginal Christians, but strong believers. Strong believers. You fellowship with them. You saw their examples, mm -hmm. and you also received teaching. Mm -hmm. Correct. And so, all of that bundled together led to the fact that you yourself more and more became an image mm -hmm. of that true Jesus. That's right. And one th one more thing, though, um, as I got closer. You know, to the mm -hmm. Lord and, and seeing the example for uh, true mm -hmm. believers, uh, that that's what showed me that uh, I need to leave the other world behind. You mm -hmm. know, uh, uh, forsake those things that I was doing. And uh, yeah, absolutely, the Lord helped me on that area. And uh, thanks be to God that uh, you know I uh, I don't I don't need the world. I don't listen to the world. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't. I don't do those things because there's nothing that the world could offer me. I prefer <clears throat> to stay in the Word and, and, and uh, talk to the Lord, pray, you know, follow His desires mm. and so on. Yeah, exactly. Um, so if, if you uh, wonder how God manufactures gemstones, living sacrifices unto Him, well, he takes them to school, he takes them under his wings, and he provides Absolutely. guidance through the Holy Spirit uh, when they read his word, when they, when they meditate upon his word. And he also provides those people with other people who are like-minded. And I mean, sometimes you have to say no to people who are uh, drawing you away from that very strong relationship. And as you're being manufactured into a gemstone, a living gemstone, it's not, not anything static, but it's something that continues to, um, uh, to grow. Um, then also, you then can become uh, a person in the hand of the Lord to manufacture others. In other All words, right. you are part of that process. God uses you then uh, in his manufacturing process. Maybe you can give an example of somebody that you have helped so that this person could also uh, turn more and more into that living gemstone. Absolutely. I, I got a brother <clears throat> in Christ uh, uh, that, you know, you can tell that he loves the Lord. He couldn't get uh, 
Uh, but he didn't know how to get closer to, to the Lord. So, uh, you know, I, I first of all invited him mm -hmm. to a house to start worshiping together and, and to, to pray together. He was going through a lot of uh, uh, struggles, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, <clears throat> you know, the Lord uh, wants us to come together and pray about these things and see the glory of God. And that's what we did. You know, we, we came together, worship, and then pray and pray for his family. He was having family mm -hmm. issues. And, mm -hmm. and that encouraging, like, you, you could see that um, he, he, he cared. Oh, yeah. He's, he was uh, so... Uh, grateful that somebody just out of nowhere was praying with him. That's right. Know? Yeah. And 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 I, you know, we we give all our, our hearts to him. We said we yeah. care. That's right. We care about these things. So this is why I'm praying. And yeah. we dedicated some time just for those prayers. Mm -hmm. So as you can see with Brother <laughs> Ivan, he made uh, this other brother's life his life. He shared. Uh, the, the burdens that he had. At the same time, he invited him to his house so that he could partake in the kind of life that he was leading. He could see what Brother Ivan was like, not talk, but really walk, mm -hmm. how he related to his wife, his children, mm -hmm. you know, what, what his place looked like, etc. And then there was also something very important um, that I can uh, personally also underline, and that is taking those people that want to become those gemstones also mm -hmm. um, by the hand and showing them firsthand experience what it really means to serve the Lord. And so, for example, you went out, you always go out and pray mm -hmm. for people, and you took him along, right? Yes, correct. <clears throat> and you wanted to come anyway. Oh, he wanted to see... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Let me, let me back up a little okay. bit. As, as I was <clears throat> telling him what the Lord was doing, mm -hmm. you know, he got, he got encouraged and he said, next time you go out, take me with you. Mm -hmm. So I gladly did, you know, and this mm -hmm. is what it's all about. The Lord said, go out, make disciples, show people how to, how, how to do things, you know. Uh, so I did. Uh, we went out to the park and um, mm -hmm. we started praying for people and he could see the reactions of, of uh, people that we didn't know. Mm -hmm. and uh and how they encountered god right there in the park you know mm -hmm. and and it just blessed him so much that um it's it, it was unbelievable and um uh, for him for mm -hmm. him it was unbelievable That's right. and then you know but uh, uh he's still growing he's mm -hmm. still uh you know he's still uh, uh trying to seek the lord more you know there's mm -hmm. always more oh yeah you know there's always more if you're at a uh, at a time in your life where you, you know, okay, you said, okay, um, I seen enough of the Lord, I, I'm good. You're in a bad position because you should be growing, growing in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, He never uh, stops giving you stuff. You know, so the, the, if you're faithful uh, to Him, mm -hmm. He will give you more because mm -hmm. you are faithful, and uh, mm -hmm. that, that's how I I see how the God operates, you know, it's like it never stops. It, mm, that's conti right. it continues and it continues and you're like, God, you continue to give me more. This, mm. is, this is so amazing. Even if you stop right now, Lord God, even if you didn't perform one more miracle, I'll be grateful my, the, the rest of my life. Mm. But God doesn't stop there. He wants to mm. give you more and more and more, you know, so it just shows his kindness, his goodness, his mm. faithfulness, especially. Well, we know that uh, the Apostle Paul in, um, in the Word often refers to a number of people as his spiritual sons. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of uh, believers out there who lack this kind of um, opportunity to um, be a son. I'm not talking about a son of the Most High God. That, that goes without saying. But to provide this kind of spiritual leadership, and discipleship, uh, the manufacturing process of becoming a gemstone, and that is truly Holy Spirit led. We cannot do that in our own strength. That mm -hmm. goes without saying. Um, and 
we desperately need, in the body of Christ, we desperately need people, maybe like you, who right. uh, are able to provide that leadership. Uh, we can state that oftentimes the leadership, the pastors, the elders, either they're too busy or they're negligent or they simply don't know how to do that or they uh, underestimate the significance of this uh, role, although Jesus clearly points it out to us that we are to make disciples. Right. Um, so if we just bemoan the, the lack and uh, you know, the problems and the state of the church that is so poor, we don't really uh, bring any glory to God, um, but we need to step in, like in the example that Brother Ivan gave, with this brother who was hungry to grow, but just didn't know. And when Brother Ivan um, honored his request to go out so that he could see with his own eyes what was happening as he approached people, as he prayed for them, there was a moment also after this uh, brother had seen, and Brother Ivan simply said, okay, now, now you do it. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. <clears throat> and I think that was an amazing encounter just, mm -hmm. I think, maybe a few days or weeks ago, right? Absolutely. You know, <clears throat> my sister-in-law came over, and she has some uh, hip issues, and <clears throat> so I encouraged him to pray for her. I said, look... Uh, uh, the same, the same God, you know that, you know, uh, that works in me. He works in you too, you mm -hmm. know. So um, I use that as a tool. I say, you pray for her and believe that God is going to heal her, just like that. And so He did. Um, he did, and she started uh, uh, testing her hip, and she's like, it's gone. I don't feel the pain. And he was, oh, glory to God, you know. So. When you see these things, uh, uh, it, it increases a faith, and now he doesn't doubt. You know, at, at first, when we first started, he had a few doubts, and because he'd never seen it before. For um, this is what it's all about. It's about showing the kingdom. You know, the Lord said in His prayer, "You know, Thy kingdom come." Mm -hmm. How is His kingdom gonna come on earth? Mm -hmm. You know, Thy will be done on earth as mm -hmm. it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not God's will to see diseases and, and pain and all this. He wants to see heaven on earth. And it's up to us if, if, if we're going to do His will, you know. Uh, he has given us everything. He's given us the Holy Spirit, you know. And through the Holy Spirit, uh, He's the one that's going to move, you know. So uh, we just got to be obedient to, to God. That's Follow right. Him. So this brother then in that case has meanwhile moved from the role of being a spectator to mm -hmm. becoming a participator. Right. And that is the whole idea. And uh, for me, one of the things that, that I learned as I you know, furthered my own uh, uh, understanding of the gospel and so on was that especially the church as such, the body of Christ, needs to have this role of a mobilizer there's no point in having people who have so much head knowledge and know the scriptures, or so they, they think, inside out, mm -hmm. but it, they never show forth the glory of God in their lives, in their, in their walk, and, and uh, you know, trust God and, and put so much faith in Him that they literally move mountains. But that's our job, to really mobilize others, but we can only do so once we have been mobilized by God and He's willing to mobilize us if we truly seek His face. Brother Ivan shared from his life how he became mobilized, how he turned more and more into that gemstone and uh, how God continues to work in his life and, and do mighty things. So mm -hmm. don't just think, okay, that's a wonderful thing for Brother Ivan. You can have that too. And if you have that already, Amen then continue to do so and continue to do even more so that we have more, uh, more of that spiritual multiplication where more and more people really go out and make disciples so that the world around them uh, is just uh, amazed at the beauty of those living gemstones that they see in them. 
that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.